Welcome to another edition of Immersed in Nature, everybody. I am Skojo in 360. Today we're going 7,800 years in the past to Crater Lake, one of the deepest lakes in the world. Let's get started. Crater Lake hasn't always been Crater Lake. 8,000 years ago, it was Mount Mazama, rising to around 12,000 feet. But one day, a giant underground magma chamber had had enough. And about 7,800 years ago, Mount Mazama literally blew its top. A mountain that stood for half a million years came crashing down into the caldera in just a matter of hours, leaving behind a lake that is nearly 2,000 feet deep, the ninth deepest on the planet and arguably the deepest in the United States. And while I have done some slight color grading of this video, the waters of the lake really are a mesmerizing deep blue. With no rivers or creeks to feed this lake, only rain and snow have provided its water, so all human and natural pollution has been kept at bay. There are two islands in the lake, Phantom Ship and Wizard Island. Phantom Ship may be erosion created, while Wizard Island is the caldera of yet another small eruption that happened later. The old man of the lake, an ancient hemlock tree, has been floating upright in the lake for over 100 years, well preserved due to the salinity of the water. Now, native Klamath tribe legend says that Lao, the spirit of the underworld, clashed with Skell, the spirit of the above world, leading to this one-of-a-kind landmark as Lao retreated back to the underworld. For hundreds of years, only shamans were allowed to visit this area until the first white man, John Hillman, stood at this very spot now called Discovery Point. And now humans from every corner of the earth flock to Crater Lake every summer. But if you're not one for crowds, you've got options. The Garfield Peak Trail is a three and a half mile hike climbing over 1,000 feet in elevation. While the hike can take several hours, the views only get better with height. A short drive to the East Rim presents you with the trailhead to Cleetwood Cove. It's a steep descent to the lakeshore that is not for the faint of heart. 650 feet in just over a mile will lead you to where you can plunge into the icy waters if you're so inclined. The ribbon of lava from Wizard Island to the shore is thought to be over 50,000 years old having vertically risen from the depths of the magma chamber. Realistically, there really is no bad view of the lake throughout the entire park, so plan to spend a full day if you're in the area. And while the gods didn't see fit to provide strong cell service in this area, you never really hear anyone complaining. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Immersed in Nature. If you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up. If you really like what you saw, well, subscribe. And if you really, really, really like what you saw, share it with your friends. I mean, come on. This is awesome. Welcome to another edition of Immersed in Nature, everybody. I am GoPro. <laughs> share it with your friends, like these people over here. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs>